never can pass up an opportunity for a self-portrait in an epic setting like this. I'm gonna hike out to where my focus point is and use the Hasselblad app to take the shot remotely. Back in a mo. Stick around to see how this image prints later in the video. Well, good morning, guys. I find myself in the Highlands of Scotland yet again with the wife. We drove up in the motorhome last night and it's absolutely beautiful this morning. It's so still, like a mill pond. We've got some rolling clouds in the valley. The sun has just come up. I did um, a self-portrait just here this morning on this beautiful rock formation and threw up the drone to get some aerial footage. But I think I might stick around for the next hour while the wife cooks the breakfast. I took this shot with the DJI Air 3 using the 70mm lens. Here he is. He's been away for how long? Just About an hour. Just an hour? But have you left at half seven? It's about? now 10 to 10. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. And no phones. My phone died. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Cook breakfast. <laughs> Can't have a cooked breakfast every day. <sighs> Bye, Lochek. That was a beautiful spot. The authorities in North East Scotland say they're facing a very serious emergency as Storm Babette causes major flooding. A red weather warning for rain remains in place for Angus, Aberdeenshire, Dundee and parts of Perthshire. Water and medicines are continuing to wait at Gaza. Let's not go over region. to the East Coast, Pat. This is Glen Orkey and this is the Falls of Orkey and it's really slippy today. I've just been over there taking a shot with my Hasselblad on the wide angle lens um, but I found a better vista here and I can shoot right through this beautiful waterfall with my 200 millimeter lens. It's a really nice shot. I've got a variable ND filter on. I think it's around about ND 20 if there's such a thing. I've got F11, half a second, ISO 100. Just focusing on that little jutty out rock in the middle. Zooming into a portion of the waterfall has quite an abstract quality with overlapping shapes in the rocks. Now let me ask you a question. As a photographer, how often do you actually print your images professionally? I'm guessing not very much. Well, when I'm looking to take an image buried deep on my hard drive and transform it into a high quality print, I turn to Saal Digital. The image I took earlier on in the trip at Loch Eck, I've decided would make a perfect gallery print for my studio wall. So I sent it off to Saal Digital. This gallery print option prints your image directly onto two millimeters of acrylic using seven color UV direct printing, giving you the highest resolution and sharpness to your image. 
The finish is available in either matte or glossy. I opted for matte and the print is reinforced with an aluminium frame, giving it that standout quality. Simply upload your image, select the orientation, choose the size, finish, print mode, and the rest is over to them. Their products always arrive quickly and this one is an absolute beauty. Rich colors and deep blacks. I recently ordered some of their interchangeable magnetic squares and one of their metal prints and they're so good. Sal Digital have a lot of products to choose from that would make perfect gifts for your loved ones, special occasions, birthdays, Christmas, and of course, your professional portfolio. And as luck would have it, the guys over at Sol Digital have given me an exclusive link, especially for you guys. So you get a whopping 50% off of their wall art, available until February 2024. So get ordering and see for yourself why I love turning images into photographic works of art with Sol Digital. Happy and you know it's a yokai. Okay. Now, one of the beautiful things about the Hasselblad X2D system is handheld long exposures up to a second, sometimes two seconds if you keep very still. So no tripod required. It's an incredible image stabilization system, something the Sony simply cannot do. Half a second for waterfalls, that's your sweet spot. Okay. It still blows my mind the amount of detail the Hasselblad X2D can capture. All handheld, slow shutter speed. Hello boys. You alright? Thank you for telling us. There's one of these trees has come down. We're reversing. I am good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the co. Our plans have had to change because of a tree felling. Not felling, it's fallen. Breached. Breached. I think they said. Breached. Well, one man said there's been a tree breach, and the other man said there's a tree dune. <laughs> <laughs> really sick of you leaving us with terrible views for our lunch. I'm sorry. Terrible. Mm -mm. Bon appetit, madame. <laughs> Lovely old fishing vessel with a stunning backdrop. Ugh. 45 millimeters F4. So we've stopped on the little green in Inverary. It's beautiful just sitting on the shore of the loch. This one's doing some photography. Uh, the uh, castle is just up behind us, but here, behind me here, is the world famous Inverary Inn. It's so famous, there's even a song about it. Oh, you're not going to sing it, are you? You bet I am. Oh, it's a nice wee inn, the Inverary Inn. I've never been in a nicer inn before. <laughs> there's Jackie just grabbing some B-roll of that horizon I'm about to photograph. Although she prefers to call it bog roll. Two hundred millimeters and simply stunning autumnal colors on that four gram peninsula.
Scotland offers some of the most stunning sunsets you're likely to see. 